In the quiet solitude of my home, surrounded by the swirling snows of a winter storm, an unsettling presence intruded upon the tranquil evening. The tempest raged outside, its fury echoed by the howling wind that rattled the windows and stirred the very depths of my soul. As I sat by the hearth, seeking refuge in the warmth of the crackling fire, a sense of foreboding gripped me, as if the very air itself had grown heavy with a silent dread. And then, through the veil of falling snow, emerged a creature of unfathomable proportions a being not of this world, but from the darkest recesses of the unknown. Its form was monstrous, shrouded in a thick pelt of fur that seemed to absorb the feeble light of the evening. Its eyes blazed with a crimson fire, burning with an intensity that pierced through the shadows and laid bare the depths of my fear. And as it drew closer, I beheld the rows of razor-sharp teeth that lined its gaping maw, each one gleaming like a dagger forged from the blackest of nightmares. Paralyzed with terror, I watched as the creature prowled closer to my home, its steps echoing like the tolling of a funeral bell in the stillness of the night. In its wake, a palpable sense of dread hung heavy in the air, suffocating me with its oppressive weight. With trembling hands, I reached for the old tome that lay upon the dusty shelf, its pages filled with the arcane knowledge of ages past. Desperate for answers, I delved into its forbidden secrets, seeking to unravel the mystery of this abomination that now stalked the fringes of my existence. But the more I learned, the more I realized the futility of my efforts. For this was no mere creature of the natural world, but a harbinger of something far more sinister, a being whose very existence defied the laws of reality, a nightmare made flesh and bone. As the creature drew ever closer, its presence looming like a shadowy specter over my home, I knew that my fate was sealed. For in the heart of this winter storm, amidst the howling winds and swirling snows, I had come face to face with a horror beyond comprehension, a horror that whispered of ancient evils and unspeakable terrors lurking in the darkest corners of the cosmos. And as the creature's icy breath brushed against my skin, I closed my eyes and surrendered myself to the abyss, knowing that there could be no escape from the clutches of madness that now enveloped me. For in the end, in the cold embrace of winter's grasp, there was only darkness and the terrible secrets that lay hidden within its depths.